Crash. So this is the start of The Witcher. This is the, this is the best RPG of all time for some people. They We've just loaded in, and I've actually got um, I've got cheat codes enabled. So I'm just gonna load God mode. God mode, like I think it is, or God, I can't remember. And then I'm gonna go um, like a boss, which is gonna give me uh, uh it's gonna give me uh, uh, the ability to kill everything. And now what, what I might do is um, spawn uh, a drowner. And let's see if I can break this game. Immediately. There we go. Yes! Let's make about 20 then. Oh, that's a good way to start. Yes! Look at this. Look at that amazing combat system. It's so immersive. Like, it's super immersive once you've been to fighting the drowners. Oh, yes. Oh, oh yes. There we go. Man, I can't believe how crap the fighting system is. It's just literally button matching. It is. It's just like the sword fighting. The whole thing, thing is glorified button matching. It's, not, it's no different with the swords. Ah, oh, yeah, I'm, I feel I'm on such a power trip. Ooh. Oh, this is fun. I'm having fun. I've just turned my, my lover's, my lover's um, bedroom into a killing ground. Yeah, they're great. Look at how good the models are. Yeah, I want to I I I stay with you longer. And, and this, this, is a heaps, this is a heaps good moment because it's like this whole game is about getting like little tiny, tiny dribbles of story. And then you have to go through horrific, monotonous game loops to get to the next bit of story. Cool, and now, if I try and interact with her again, what happens? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, 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 yes. Cast a spell on you. And so, so you can't even walk up to this character. This is a triple-A game, apparently. And this, they've probably got, I don't know, what, millions, millions of dollars to make this. Yeah. Um, and you can't even walk up to that character and get dialogue from her. I think it's time to do yes. that. Yes! Oh, yes! Yeah, God, God, doesn't God work. It doesn't, doesn't, apparently it doesn't protect you from falling. Oh, see, the thing that I remember about playing The Witcher the first time was that in the starting area you were heaps underpowered so you couldn't do anything. You just had to follow your fetch quest and collect herbs and kill kill the beasts in the order that the fetch quest made you do it. Which is the whole game. Because it's... It's like they act like it's open world, but it's like the, there's these invisible walls based on the leveling up of the it's, enemies. It's just grinding. It's just so a grinding like wall. This whole game is a one big loop of fetch quests, yeah. peppered with tiny bits of story. So and right, right now, you literally, if they, if they actually had creativity, you could walk up to an NPC and you could spark a line of dialogue, and they could have a whole audio there play. This is this is how it used to break down, right? You come to a soldier, you, you'd aggro him. And then they'd be level yeah, like that. That's how the game used to work. It was literally one hit. You'd get one hit by a soldier. But I found a, a heaps good patch that they put out where you literally just open up the console and just uh, put in some simple commands that you can find on the website. And uh, it changes the game to be like way, just way more um, intuitive and in-depth. In yeah. Or well, you can uh, you just do that. Oh, and now I kill so now the game's so much more fun. Yeah. Because I can just kill pointless NPCs. And I still can't actually um I might be able to kill goose they might allow me to kill gooses. There you go. Wow. I'm allowed to kill harmless geese. But uh if I want go up to a, a villager, oh he's nah. You, you, you can't. That that can't happen. I uh, no, no. That's they've got to just And then they'll, what they'll do is they'll do some screaming loops. And they'll, they'll try, the AI will try and put them into a different location, and then, given a certain time, time encounter, oh, here's another soldier. Yeah, now they go back to their loops. It's like it never happened. Super immersive. Oh, oh. Hi, hi, hi. Oh. Bye-bye. Right, so there's, um, it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't change anything about the game. And no, none of these NPCs have reacted. Oh, well, they do if I go and fish Oh, them. and then watch him go back to his normal loop. Yeah, just that. follow him. I'll, I'll, put, I'll put sheath my sword. Oh, no! Oh, back to normal. Now yeah, you can talk, talk to him. Yeah. Hey, mate. Hey, mate, can we have a chat? Oh, nice little... Oh. I think that, that's what he would have done. That's anyway. triple A. That's all he does. Just procedural NPC crap. He's been spawned with a... Interaction. That's good. A lot of work went into this game, you see. 
I could talk to this. I just murdered a bunch of his mates, but this guy's like, oh yeah, I don't mind. What are you doing? How's it going? And then I'm going to draw my sword on him. Oh, he's going, don't do that. Oh, but I can't attack till he attacks. That's how the code's been written. Hi, hi, hi. And now all is forgiven. He's done. Is there any other soldiers who witnessed my murder? Oh, well, this guy may have. Who's this? It's like that. They, oh, yeah, he, he, he didn't care. This game is a fetch quest scam. It's a fetch quest scam. It's just, it's just a very scam. And it, 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 it appeals yet again to the autistic mind. Oh, I think I recognise that from somewhere else. Oh, oh another asset. It's like, that's like an asset group. Um, oh, yeah, great. Yeah, bye bye. Yeah. It's actually, it's actually more fun doing um, punching than uh, using your sword. That should tell you something. Just going to take out the last of these soldiers. So what we're going to do? Uh, I can't attack him till he aggro's on me. That's good. Come on, come on! Yeah, dead soldiers everywhere. Now what we can do? Oh, let's, he, he didn't notice his mate dying there. I love how the soldiers keep respawning. Yeah. It's like, isn't it, once one dies, another one responds, it's like... I just love that they they went to the effort of coding in, like, audio when you interact with them, but it's always one or two it's dialogue lines. It's just enough to make it not, like, a scam. Yeah. yeah. And, but they... It's like you're missing storytelling opportunities with all of that. They, they don't have a story to tell. This is a game. dead, dead world, and the only thing that makes it... This is basically an asset, an asset flip. Yeah, it's an asset flip, except you paid you paid people to make the assets that's that's the deal you paid individuals to work in your studio and to get to any more story progression you have to go to a bunch of crappy fetch quests that mean nothing look another soldier that's just spawned in because this is a spawning area for soldiers like like oh, fuck. let's call my horse i can't be bothered with this crap and then i love how the horse will just like trot in from some rant there it is trotting in dissolves in from some rant it is so head. depressing this game let's go to the um the, uh, there's, a, there's like a castle. Somewhere oh, there. fast travel. I love the illusion of open world as well. No one ever just start, like travels around. They always use fast travel because open world's a con. No one wants to be running around doing nothing. Or just It's also because the, the world's empty. Yeah, there's nothing in yeah, it. Yeah, the world's empty. That's why they want to fast travel. Um, the story in this game is trash. It is trash. It really did fool me when I first um, paid money and bought this thing. You know, when, when it was on, um, I think it's this way. When it was on PlayStation, it, it, you, you literally Play could have just had a game that would just had all the story in it without all the fetch quest crap in between. Well, this is the very first village of the game. You'd think they put the most effort into this. Well, like, just go, go to a go to a random house, right? Yeah, go to a random house. Look, let's just quickly talk to this boy. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, two, two lines. Two lines of dialogue. I've got a feeling that if I found another child, they might have similar lines. Oh no, he's got a new line. Two lines for him. Okay. He doesn't even stop to interact with you. He just runs away. Yeah, that's his line. What's wow, this boy's so line? No, nah, mum doesn't. That's the same boy or, or the same line uh, code. Yeah, same same line code. So you've basically put in the effort of like five minutes work for all your children in the village. That's immersive. Oh, cool, this is a real village. It's like, this village like, doesn't such exist. such a lazy... Because there's no characters. It, all there is is the fetch quest. Oh, here we go. This guy's, uh, this guy's an actual interactable. What happened here? What happened here? Oh, God, you chilling tonight. So set fire to the village. Yeah, cool, but basically, this guy's got interaction because you can buy stuff off him, right? Some fucker set a light in your workshop. I lost everything. Everything. I'm a dwarf. I'm sorry. Sorry. Any suspects? Hold on. Oh, fetch quest. This is the beginning of it. So that, this is when they were doing their little That's thing. the thing. Like, it's, it's every interaction is, it's, it's like setting up a fetch quest. You can't actually just talk to people. No, you can't actually develop a normal, like, you can't learn about their proper character. It's like, this dialogue is going to leave you. He doesn't have a character. This, this dwarf man, he's literally just a stereotypes. Um, blacksmith. I have a problem that you need to solve by running to a pointless area in the map and doing a thing and, and having shitty combat with some creature and then you'll, I'll give you something. Can you collect seven herbs of this kind? Go around with your special witcher sense and find me the herb root. Um, good luck rebuilding. Farewell, I'm not doing your fetch quest. 
And I can't kill you either, can I? You cannot attack this target. Right. Oh, that's good. So basically, we got we got an interaction, but it was a nothing interaction because it was literally just the fetch quest um, beginning. Talk to this woman. Okay. Oh, okay. I love how they put that deep level of two lines per per randomly spawned NPC. Yeah. I mean, because it, it is expensive to hire um, voice actors. Yeah. When you when you've got the budget for this game, you can't spend. Oh no way! On you've, voice you've just spent like. Oh, another spitter. Oh wow! And go, go up to a, like a random house, right? Oh, that's a new line. Go up to a random house. Okay. And just see if there's any dialogue coming from inside the house. Or Anything? Any sound? Yeah, but you know the answer to that. Any sound? When you, you put in, in one line. Oh, we can go in. can go in, that's nice. But let's see what happens inside. Oh, this might be another Oh, they've question. got an exclamation mark, meaning you can yeah, talk. She's a fetch quester. I also love how you just walk into a stranger's house in the middle of the night and they're, and they're like, hey! Yeah, it's like, it's like, that's not disturbing. The problem is when you actually try and do open world, which is a fake term anyway, but when you're trying to do a large fantasy world, you have to think about it like, how would this actually happen? How would these people actually behave? And then you have to code that in. A man with a sword comes into your house at night and you immediately launch an effects quest. And you just, you don't even turn around, you just go, oh, hello. Oh, what? Yes, sir. Oh, look, herbalist claims you might fight fever with the, the herbalists that you get the herbs. Well, I might need some herbs. If you could, if someone could possibly help me with the herbs, it's funny. Even when they do do voiceover, it's um, it's deliberately long and bullshit to waste more time in the game. Yeah, it's nothing to do with the story. It's literally just instead of saying I need you to fetch five of the mustard herbs, they go blah 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 blah. Could you help me if I get the five of the mustard herbs? Blah 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 blah. Oh, and the brains go, oh, what will I need to go get the herbs? Describe the Yeah, I can't help you right now. I don't want another thing. And all of these fetch quests are literally so you can get your stats up, so you can do what I'm doing now with my special patch that killed people quickly. So you can get to another scaled area and maybe kill a monster. Trash! Okay, that's cool, man. I like your house, man. I'm not going to talk to you again because I'll launch into an awful cinematic. It's a fake cinematic, I might, you might call them. Cheap cinematics. We'll see. Come on, let's get out of here. Time to go north. I use this as well. And um, I also, to be honest, it doesn't do it for me having um, uh, horse stamina. Yeah, and also having this dynamic weather that changes night and day. Like, it's actually not immersive. Because there's not, everything's dead. Yeah. You walk up to a, a human being in this game and they have two lines of dialogue that they say and repeat and you immediately go, oh, this isn't real. This is, this is not a real place. It's not a real boy. It's not a real person. Oh look, that's great, ah. that's immersive, there's no reaction on now, he's aggroed on me now, that's good. Oh, I can't hit him though, mm. apparently that horseback is invincible or something. Come on! Hey, there we go. Oh, nearly dead, you're nearly dead mate. Wow. That's, that's right, that's right. Come on, die! Oh, jeez, this sword fighting is so much fun. It's man. good, it's a good game. Come to me! Come to me now! Oh, I'm sorry, and all the, 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 the... Oh look, he's dead, he's lost all his health. Yeah, yeah I think he's, it's just glitched. He's not, he's not supposed to die. Nah. So that's really good. It's like, good game. You're not supposed to Oh, let's go to another lifeless area with no yeah. characters in it. Here we go, I'm going to the car, um, the big citadel, it's got all the soldiers. It's like, it, it's so, it's such a shit game, because you, you, any character you can interact with that has a little exclamation mark, Stupid. that just means, the exclamation mark just, just means, this will give you a fetch quest. Yeah, prepare yourselves. Why this will give quest? you a fetch quest. The whole thing is fetch quests. And we've been so, like, brainwashed as game players that that's normal. So, oh, that's great. And the fetch questing is good. Go to this area, there will be fetch quests. Go to that area, there will be fetch quests. 